We're back. Gary Mazarov. Adrian Macrino, Alexis Iwasa, and Evan Prichard. We're here in Birmingham, Alabama, USA for the 11th edition of the World Games. This is the sixth, I stand corrected. Sixth time racquetball has been in the World Games. We're about to watch the men's singles match number two. Jake Bredenbeck in blue on the right. He's from outside the Twin Cities area in Minnesota versus Lee Connell from Canada. Saskatchewan, the city of Saskatoon. This is the best of five. 15 point games win by one with the exception of the tie break. If it goes the fifth game, it would be 11 points win by two. One timeout, one minute each per game. Two minute break between games. Our professional official from San Luis Potosi in Mexico is Diana Aguilar. For those of you just tuning in, first match was won by Andre Paria from Mexico over Ramon De Leon from Dominican Republic, three games to zero. This is the round of 16 for the men. After this match, we'll have two ladies matches in the round of 16. Then we'll have a two hour break and we'll continue this afternoon at 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time here in the U.S. So the first World Games, 1981. Racquetball was part of it. Santa Clara, California. Ed Andrews and Cindy Baxter were the title holders. 1985 in London, England. Andy Roberts. Cindy Baxter repeated. 1993 in The Hague in the Netherlands. Michael Bronfeld and Michelle Gould. They won. In Kaohsiung, Chinese Taipei. Taiwan, if you will. 2009. Jack Husek. And Paola Langoria will be playing later on. And then 2013 in Cali, Colombia. Polo Gutierrez from Mexico and Paola, the other Mexican player, won the women's title. 2017 in Rokla, Poland. Racquetball was not part of it. The LOC did not build any courts. So here we are, 2022. Sixth time for racquetball here at UAB in Alabama. 22,000 students, about almost two to one in favor of women, students to men. About half the size of the sister campus in Tuscaloosa. So the pregame orientation by Aguilar. Going over some ground rules, making sure the players understand the protocol. And she'll toss a coin to determine the server. Whoever wins the toss has the choice to serve. Birmingham is the largest city in Alabama, somewhere between 200, and depending on which source you read, between 200 and 260,000 inhabitants here. About three quarters of a million people in the metro area. So, Lee Connell, Canada, serving to Jake Bredenbeck, USA. 0 0, game one. Short serve. Short serve is a fault serve. Second serve, just like tennis. Goes with the high nick. Bredenbeck got away with a sloppy ceiling ball, but he was able to roll out with the forehand that last shot. So it's serving Bredenbeck and a point. Rally scoring. Both players, or either player, can score whether they're serving or not. 2-0, game one. Good. 
Connell. Snaps a backhand with the grunt and wins the point and the serve, one, two. Much to his chagrin, came up short. According to Paisan, Evan Pritchard, he's an all around player. Showing his racket skills, quick hands there. Empate tie at two, game one. So Bredenbeck earns a serve and a point, has a one point lead in game one. This is the round of 16 for the men. Winner will play on Tuesday in the round of eight. Left up, ball down. Connell reversed with the forehand into the left corner, left it up and Bredenbeck put it away. Set up left side, Connell. Didn't adjust to that ball coming off that side wall. Cost him 5-2. Alexis, uh, per your comment earlier, Cutting off that Z is, is what they need to do, right? Yes. Anytime you can take another player out of the center of the court, I think it's worthwhile trying. Especially now, there's absolutely nothing to lose. It's one game, and if you lose that game, you're done. So why not just try everything you can? Words of wisdom from the young lady from Edmonton. Good serve there. Kissed off the glass, ball down. <laughs> left up pinch, winner pinch, left side by Bredenbeck. Seven to four, USA versus Canada. Connell up front, puts it away. Statement forehand by Connell, Alexis. Is. I'm just a little upset he's not wearing his fire shorts today. I think he said after he wins this match, he'll wear them on Tuesday. All right, I'll be looking forward to that. <laughs> Short serve call by Aguilar. So Gary, what's the call here with linesmen? Are we waiting until semifinals before they can ask or are they allowed to ask at any point? As far as I know, they can ask anytime. We're not gonna have lines people, uh, the traditional two lines people, but we're gonna use the camera. And the referee can review uh, the camera angle and make the judgment whether they wanna stay with the call or change it. Great question, Alexis. Bredenbeck serving. Nobody home right side. Winner. Bredenbeck had Connell on that yo-yo string, if you will. So there's a timeout on the floor. We're on the IRF network. We'll be back. Stay tuned, folks. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham. Give a big round of applause. He'll give it up.
folks. University of Alabama, Birmingham. Beautiful campus here. We are at the 11th edition of the World Games Racquetball at the Student Recreation Center. Gary Mazaroff, Alexis Iwasa, Adrian Macrino, and Evan Pritchard. Happy to jo have you join us. Game one, Bredenbeck serving. Connell receiving. The score is 11-6. So she called an ace serve. Connell's asking Michelle Gagnon, his coach, if it were legal. And the answer is we. Oui. Skip ball. Seven. No, it was reversed. It wasn't an ace. I apologize. 7-10. Great serve. Dug out by Bredenbeck. Connell put it away. I, I think I've seen Connell play once, Alexis. He's a rather animated player, is he not? He is. He is one of my favorite players to watch, and not just because he's in Canada, but I love Whoa. his attitude on the court. Some of the best shots are miss hits, folks. No strings on that one, but the bottom line is he scored. 9-10, game one. Redenbeck says, no problem. I'll roll this out right side. Side wall off the glass, front wall, ball down. So it appears that there will be an appeal here. Connell appealing, they'll review the camera. The referee will review the angles and make the determination to have the call stand or reverse it. So, first time folks, racquetball using replay to determine the outcome. Connell, 10. Bredenbeck, 10. No appeal used, Alexis, so he still has two available. Yes. Jake just stood there and waited till <laughs> Connell committed himself and passed him left side. It's a, it's a nice first game, Alexis. It is. Oh. Great athleticism from there. Connell. We check the floor for perspiration. One. Formal timeout, one minute in length, and uh, who knows how many towel timeouts. <laughs> Connell, backhand, kill. 11-12, game one. Round of 16 for the men. Winner plays on Tuesday in the quarterfinals. Wednesday will complete play with the semis and the final. Oh, nice. Empate otra vez. So we have a 12 12 tie. Lee Connell, Saskatoon. Jake Bredbeck, Twin Cities. Connell takes his first lead. Wow. Can he close it out, folks? Oh. 
Comes with the Z again. Front wall, side wall, crack winner. Game point number one, Lee Connell, 14-12. Oh, Bredenbeck responds. Cross court winner with the backhand from deep court. So he staves off game point number one. This will be game point number two for Connell. Even as a receiver, remember, folks, rally scoring. Short serve, fault serve, second. For those of you new to the game, we appreciate you tuning in. Hopefully you'll grab a racket, get on the court, and hit some shots. Oh my! Connell floors that ball. So now it's game point number one for Bredenbeck. Number three for Connell. Comes right side, comes up short. What is he going to do here? Nick Lob, half lob. So Connell, three game points. Couldn't cash in. Bredenbeck, 15. Connell, 14. We're here in Birmingham at the World Games. Gary, Adrian, Alexis, and Evan will be back in two minutes. Hello everyone, welcome back. Gary Mazarov, Macrino, Iwasa, Prichard. We're here at the University of Alabama, Birmingham. You're watching Jake Bredenbeck get ready for game two against Lee Connell. Bredenbeck from the USA, Connell, Canada. 15-14 in favor of Bredenbeck, game one. Alexis, your opinion of that first game, please. That was a lot closer than I, what I was expecting. Um, very good playing from both of them. I love the sportsmanship from Jake, um, from him checking back to double check with uh, Coach Michelle from Canada to see if his serve was legal or not, and then overruling the ref there. Just uh, great playing, great leadership from these guys so far. Thank you. Don't forget to like and share our posts. And we are now part of the STARS program. So feel free to send us the STARS there. That will help our athletes and future funding. Another quick little point there for Jake. Best of five, folks, 15 points. If it goes to the fifth game, it changes to 11 win by two. The 15 point games win by one. Bredenbeck won by one in the first game. He leads two, make that 3-0 in game two. Deanna Aguilar is our professional referee. Ball live, Connell, right side. Oh, I live again. Oh, skipped it in. Connell, point number one in. No, did not skip it in. 
Stand corrected. 4-0. Nobody home right side. 5-0, game two. That's six. Animation, negative way from Connell. Jake's got Connell on that yo yo string. He's amping it up in game two at 7-0. There's a timeout on the floor, one minute. We'll be back to the IRF Network. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham. Give a big round of applause. He'll give it up. We're back, Gary, Adrian, Alexis, Evan. We're here at the World Games in Birmingham. S Southern Hospitality, LA Hay, LG, Life is Good. Thank you to the background music, Neil Young and Mick Jagger. <laughs> I'd be remiss if I didn't mention our leader and our producer, Pablo Farge. Team Chile. 8-0, Bredenbeck, game two. Connell up top, no, wraps it. Much to the chagrin of Connell, puts it into the floor. We call that the Saskatoon shout, huh? Uh, Alexis? I do that too sometimes, so I don't know if it's just Saskatchewan <laughs> or maybe it's a Canadian thing. Hey, we'll call it Saskatoon. <laughs> Animation from Connell. Body language, 1-9. Never say never, folks. Ball down. It's a quality serve by Connell, but a better return by Bredenbeck. Back up top. Gearbox black. She called it good. Connell thought skip. Ball was flat. Took it from his left ear and rolled it from 38 feet. Oh, nice, Connell. Splat winner with the backhand. Point number two in game two. He lost the first 14-15. He had three opportunities for game, didn't cash in. Z serve. Front wall, side wall, Nick, winner. Inside out, backhand swing. Ball cracked off the left glass. Thank you for watching, folks. IRF Network. 
International Racquetball Federation. Nobody home. Left up shot by Bredenbeck. Connell took advantage of it. Punishing forehand right side. Short serve. Half lob, left side. Oh, he'd like that one again, but no mulligans. No mulligans in racquetball. Pinch, 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 pinch into the floor. Two points from the second game. First match was De Leon from Dominican. Padilla from Mexico. Padilla won three games to zero. He will play Tuesday in the round of eight. High reverse Z, roundabout, uh, wrap around. Ball live, right side. Ball, wallpaper against the glass. Irretrievable by Connell. Game point, number one, Bredenbeck, Minnesota, USA. Nick Lobb. Connell takes it early and rolls it. So he staves off game point number one. This will be game point number two. Remember, it's rally scoring. Bredenbeck as a receiver can score a point. And he does. We're on the IRF network. We're here in Birmingham, World Games number 11, sixth time for racquetball. And two minute break, we'll be back. And we're back for game three. This is Gary with Adrian, Alexis, and Evan. We're here, game three, men's round of 16. Lee Connell 
Canada serving to Jake Bredenbeck. Minnesota. Winner. Right side pinch. Side wall, front wall, two bounces up front. Comes with the Z serve again. Ball veered off that back wall a little bit too much for Lee's purpose. So it's 1 1. Coming in to serve, Connell 2 1. Read the score called by our professional referee, Diana Aguilar from San Luis Potosi in Mexico. We will be there next month for the IRF World Championships. 2-2. To be followed immediately by the 37th edition of the IRF World Senior Racquetball Championships in Albuquerque. And then we believe in December will be the World Juniors back in Guatemala City. Comes right side, Connell does. Ball down. Redenbeck was all over that right side serve. 3-3, three, three. half lob, splat winner, Connell. Connell was all over that half lob. See if he comes with the drive Z to the left side. He does. Didn't get the angle he wanted. Per the prop by Alexis, he cut it off and was able to put it away. Good call, Alexis. Thank you. I can say it, I just, I can't do it myself. It's a numbers game, just keep trying. Oh, great pass. Outright winner, Connell, right side. Will he force a game four? It's a one point lead here in game three. Five, four. Oh, another. He would call it a plum. Put that ball into the floor. Tried to reverse it. Legal in Chinese handball, but not in racquetball. High lob. Set up. Winner. Textbook Tom Travers racquetball. Forcing serve, weak return, put away. Comes right side. Very deceptive on that right side serve that time. Point. Comes left. Back on that yo-yo string. Set up, Connell. Put away. Loose ceiling ball, a little lazy by Jake. Just kind of stood there and went through the motion. Got a piece of the side wall, which he didn't want. That's impressive, folks. Side wall, front wall. Pinch winner with the backhand, Connell. Empate, siete iguales. 7-7. Seven, seven. Ball live. Oh, my. Wallpaper along the right. Tough to pick it up. And the wall won. One point lead, Connell.
Skip ball, two point lead. Each player has one resource available. That's a timeout, one minute in length each game. Neither has taken one yet this game. Redenbeck stops the bleeding, comes in to serve, earns a point, 8-9. Jammed him, front wall, side wall, ball exploded at his feet. Another empate, 9-9. 10 9 Let's see if Connell calls a timeout. Deli did not call a timeout, he's deliberate. He has 10 seconds after the Score is called to be ready. Deliberation helped him. Ties it up, comes in to serve. Each player five points from the game. 10-10. Birmingham, Alabama, USA. Named after Birmingham, England, the Iron City. They call this the Magic City. Over 200,000 people. Better part of three quarters of a million people in the metro area. Bredenbeck puts it away, 11-10, his favor. Great serve. Kiss that glass, 38 feet, timeout on the court. IRF Network will be back. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham. Give a big round of applause. Bill Kibanova. Games racquetball here in Birmingham, Alabama. Gary, Adrian, Alexis, Evan, Jake Bredenbeck serving to Lee Connell, USA versus Canada. Two points, three points from the match. Make that two. First to 15, win by one. Jake won the first two. 15, 14, 15, five. Trying to close this out. Earn a spot on Tuesday in the quarters. Reverse. Overhead smash. Wrap, wrap around. Between the legs. Impressive. Impressive, folks. Quality racquetball. Point one by Connell, 11-13. Show court here. We have another five courts, four dedicated racquetball, one transition to squash. Beautiful facility here. Meanwhile, Connell, point number 12. Drive Z, uh, drive direct left side. Wow. Punish the ball. Front wall, side wall exploded right in the middle. Point. Bredenbeck 
Serving for match. Match point number one. Went for that. So, Bredenbeck went for the short crack serve. He thinks he got it. The call is short serve. Bredenbeck wants to appeal, so they're going to look at the camera. Each player is entitled to two. Two. Used appeals per game. So the call stands. Jake's used one of his two. Comes with a Z. And Connell skips it in. That was the story. Too many unforced errors by Lee Connell. Congratulations to both players. Well played. Jake Bredenbeck, USA, earns a spot Tuesday in the quarters. Wins three games to zero over Lee Connell from Canada. The next match will be women's round of 16. Japan and Mexico. Ayako Hanashi, Japan. Paola Langoria. Mexico and we'll be back on the IRF network we appreciate all of you folks tuning in this is Gary signing off momentarily yeah.